Matt Milano is one of the NFL's best linebackers, and while that may be kind of an odd take, it's definitely one that I support. Matt Milano is an undersized linebacker, playing at just 6 feet tall at 220 pounds, but he is a thicker linebacker. And while he may seem fairly large on tape, when you look at his statistical size, he's even smaller than Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa, who was known for being a small linebacker and was drafted in the second round because of it, despite his first round talent. And that seems to happen often, with the value of the linebacker being extremely low in today's NFL, you can find phenomenal linebackers in very low rounds, such as Matt Milano in the 2017 NFL Draft, where he went in the fifth round from Boston College. Now, you're not going to find someone as good as Matt Milano in the fifth round every time, but when you do, it's a diamond in the rough. So let's take a look at what Matt Milano does well and how he's become one of the most underrated linebackers in the entire NFL, being one of the most dominant coverage linebackers, and really just being one of the most underrated defensive pieces on an otherwise good defense. Let's get into it. What's up guys? I'm Tyler Coker and I'm your host for today's episode of Today with Tyler. I hope you enjoy. Milano's game is based on tremendous coverage and great blitzes as a secondary move. When blitzing, his speed allows him to close a gap quickly. He also uses his speed and coverage helping protect him against vulnerable routes like inside releases. His speed and technique make him extremely effective against tight ends and most running backs, since he's fast enough to blanket them and eliminate dangerous threats. Even in zone coverage, his quickness allows him to close in on ball carriers before they can gain any yards after the catch. He has tremendous awareness in zone coverage, which allows him to silence other passing threats and play phenomenally as a modern linebacker. He can read routes well to understand the concept, and predict where the ball would be thrown, which can be leading to dangerous interceptions. Unfortunately, Milano's quick and undersized frame does lead him to some limitations in the run game. He can be seen getting silenced by just one blocker, which isn't necessarily ideal for a linebacker against a run. He can struggle to shed blocks, getting stuck with his blocker rather than disengaging to make a tackle and fill gaps. That said, the physical side of the game is the only place where he really struggles. He identifies runs and passes very well, giving him a necessary jump for defense. He also has no trouble tackling, and is deadly in open space. His quickness limits ball carry's ability to shake him, which gives him another advantage as a linebacker. And Milano is extremely versatile as well. He's one of the best linebackers in the NFL at blitzing, especially due to how fast he can create pressure and cave in the pocket. Milano can even play as a quarterback spot which helps against the elite quarterbacks that Buffalo plays as they attempt to push for the Super Bowl. Matt Milano is extremely good, and while he does struggle on occasion with the run, he isn't necessarily a liability in that sense, and brings a coverage upside of a true linebacker one. It's extremely impressive to see someone with such a size disadvantage be able to dominate tight ends so well, and it's extremely fun to see fast linebackers who can still get the job done as a linebacker. So while he isn't the perfect linebacker, and he's definitely nothing close to someone like Fred Warner, you can still have faith that he is one of the best linebackers in the NFL, extremely good in coverage, and also a very effective blitzer. So there's a lot to be seen with Matt Milano, and I hope you can understand where he's just become some of the best linebackers in the NFL. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.